Hey guys, welcome back. Sean the Magic the Gathering guy here saying we are at 19 subscribers. We are one away from 20. That means we only need 981 to go. For the new guys coming in, thanks a lot guys for watching. I'm so glad you guys have decided to, to put me on the subscribe button. The beep subscribe. It's awesome. It, it, is, it is great. And for those who are new, I hope you take a look at my old videos so you can see some of the stuff we've covered in the past and some of the stuff going forward. I have a few things to go over today which will uh, lend a little bit of excitement and a little bit of boredom and a little bit of ha ah! and a little bit of, you know, whatever. Okay, first off, uh, where did I put? Oh, as you guys know, I picked this up, which is uh, Alpha Time Twister. I was very happy. Um, I got it vetted today. I did all my stuff, but I took it to a local game shop to see what they would offer. Um, I did not take the offer. I told them I would consider it, but I'll be honest, you know, there wasn't that many of these printed. I think the maximum number is like 1,100. Back in like 1993, how many of them survived since then? This is beat up. It does have dings. It has a dent in the side, but it's real. They're not making any more. So guys, when this kind of thing happens, you come across a good deal. Sometimes you just got to shelve it. You got to put with the other cards and wait for a better deal later on. So that means I have a very big credit card bill that must be cleared. And I was not prepared for that at this point, but good news is, when opportunity strikes, you have to be able to be able to seize that moment and know that it's going to be okay in the end. So I had to do this. I couldn't let this card go because of the price. Um, so I'll be honest. I'm going to tell you what I paid. I normally don't do this, but this was like too good to be able to pass up. I paid uh, a total of $2,500 Canadian for this. The cheapest one on eBay sold for $7,500. Always look at past sales. Never look at what they're selling for now. And to be honest... Try to look to see who has an alpha for sale. None. There's none on eBay. There's none on Star City Games. Nobody has any because it's that rare now to find. So I could not settle on what they offered, which was $2,500 in cash, which is what I paid, plus an additional $500 in trade. So they're saying I basically got lucky for $500. I could not let that go. It's not that the deal was insulting. Companies and businesses have to make a profit, guys. I am not insulted by this, and you should never be insulted either. They have a business to run. They have employees to pay. They have overhead. But I don't have to accept that right now. I can wait. I can make some more money off it. I can hold on to it, and I'm good with that. And that's that's totally reasonable. I'm not saying they insulted me. I understand. But I'm not going to let that go. I've reached out to guys like Rudy at Alpha Investments to see if he's interested. Um, I'm waiting to hear back an email from him, so I might be shipping this out to him to uh, see what he says and see what he'll offer. Uh, I gave him my price, and, and we'll see what happens. But uh, I normally don't give it all the prices, but this was just, you know, this was too good to pass up to let you guys know. You know, they would have tried to sell this card between six dollars and $7,000. That means, well, I should just pocket that money, right, to the best of my ability. I just get a little leery selling on eBay. I don't feel all my protections are in place nowadays, and I don't want to risk it. So I'm just, you know, a little bit leery. So I'm going to hold on to it for now until I hear back from Rudy at Alpha Investments, and then I'm going to decide what to do at that point. Okay, so that's, that's what's happened with the card. Uh, now I did a, a toy video yesterday on, on some stuff. Um, I'm not sure who watched it. There was like three or four views. I was just trying to touch the water after, uh, Andrew said, maybe I want to branch out that way. Um, so it was fine. I, I just did it for fun, but, uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to go with that. Cause I think, I think I'm kind of an off the cuff guy, guys. I don't, I don't, um, I don't research all this stuff. It's just stuff I've read or interested in that day. I'm kind of like, ah, uh, all over kind of guy. Um, so you'll see, I kind of skip topics, jump into new things, repeat things. I, I apologize if it happens. It's just the way I am. And, and, and you got to love it or hate it when it comes along. Um, so I got a couple of things. Number one, this is a mail notice saying something has come in. I did not have time to go out and get this tonight. I'm not going to flip it around because it has, of course has my address and stuff on it, but I was just like, that's cool. So I can't do anything about it right now. I'm going to just kind of hang on to this. And I will pick it up tomorrow and let you guys know what happens with that. So that goes up here. But, ah! sorry. Oh, this is from Ireland, which is kind of cool. So uh, I'm going to rip this open. You guys kind of know what it probably is because that's, you know, my thing. And I still have cards. Wait. Well, this is kind of wrapped a little funny. Somebody taped the living kind of taped it um do i have anything to open this with 
I know, I know. Sean, you should be more prepared. Sean, you're making us watch this video, but you're not like doing everything right. I apologize, guys. I did not know this was going to happen because I hadn't opened it, right? So you got, you know, you got to give me a little bit of credit. I mean, not much. Just a little. I'm trying to rip this open, sorry. My goodness, do I have scissors down here? I don't have scissors. I, I don't have scissors. I don't see any. I have a very sharp knife. Hold on. Bear with me, guys. I am I'm doing something ridiculous, so please bear with me. I am... Um, I do keep some swords in my basement. This is a sort of uh, Drista Warden from Forgotten Realms. And I'm going to use this to slit the card sleeve open. Rudy's got his tool. This is my tool. <laughs> Sorry. That's just so funny. Uh, all right. So I have put that down. I have slit open the side of the card. Oh my goodness. There's like tape within tape here. I... That's right, baby. All right, I gotta say the guy did a great wrap job um, because this thing is like totally packed in. I think this is a play set of four that I had ordered. So. Play set of four more Mox Ambers to add to my collection. Um, I know some of you guys out there still are upset that I buy so many. And you know who you are out there. But that's okay. Because whatever makes you happy. And buying Mox Ambers, it makes me happy. Like, you guys see. I go, what's in the mail? And I, I go to open it. And I'm like, you know. I mean, come on. We work for a living. We deserve to uh, enjoy life and buy cards. And I like to buy cards. I just happen to buy the exact same one over and over and over again until it's getting very hard to buy any, which is kind of a bummer. But these are here, and that's right. The second binder is well underway, as you guys know. So we're going to flip over here until I get to the right page, and we're going to start inserting these bad boys until I have it done. Now, uh, Alejandro there, sorry if I mispronounced that. Was showing me a great combination today. I just want to go over with you guys, see what you guys think. Um, because I, I did a little testing today on it, and I'm gonna do some stuff on the weekend with it to really get it going. But it was with uh Flibidit, or however you pronounce that name, the lost. And and what he his thing was is if you when he comes into play, he's a legendary creature who casts two, which is good. If he comes into play, you draw a card, but if he's played from your deck, you draw two cards. Okay? So that's fine. But what I'm talking about here is the new Teferi, the Time Reveler, his his his, his plus his static ability is fine. It's, it's going to be helpful. It's not amazing. But his minus three is uh, you bounce a, an artifact thing back to your hand and you draw a card, right? So imagine you get Teferi out. He's out there. He's chilling. You jump him right down to the minus three. You tap your Mox Amber because now it's activated. You tap it for the mana. Unsummon it back to your hand because you unsummon. Then you draw a card. Then you lay back out, back out the Mox Amber. Tap that. Lay out Flippin' at the Lost. Draw another card. You've just drawn true cards. You've got another creature on the battlefield. Teferi's used his main power and he's protected because he has a wimpy creature. And if they target the Flippin' at guy, he goes back to your library. So imagine having a couple Time Revelers for the Flippin' at the Lost. You could do some really great stuff, man. This could be very exciting, guys. And I love the combination. I had something slightly different going on with the new Jace. So, so I'm kind of like waiting to see if that works out and then I'll, I'll, I'll put it up for you guys so you can see how I, how I mean to do it. But I gotta make sure it plays right. Um, but I, I think, and this is just now. Now, new spoilers came out like like Nahiri and stuff like that came out today as well. And I'm kind of stoked about those. I think it's very cool. Um, she's, she's okay herself. But again, it's four casting costs. You want the guys who are gonna cost one plus at least one or two other and that's it. That's all you want. Anything above that and, and the Mox Amber is not gonna jump to what you need it to be. Um, so keep that in mind when, when you're doing it. And, and the fact that some of these planeswalkers all have those static abilities, it makes it very easy to use them for their, for their general effects they're going to start with. You just have to have the right combinations to really hinder an opponent. Really, It's going to be a control deck, obviously, but you got to control what you're doing. So I probably think it'd be, it'd be a blue-white deck. There's also that card that makes it so opponents can't attack. So imagine putting that with Teferi with Flibidit. It's, it's a five casting cost, but imagine that 
and a nice combination where you start building and building and building and building and cycling your deck up to the point you're drawing cards. I think it's going to be very exciting, guys. I think there's some great stuff going on with War of the Spark. Um, I have got my hands on at least one case that I will have um, for opening. So I'll open up probably three of the boxes and keep three, or maybe I'll open four and save two. Um, I, I'm just kind of Christmas shopping early to do this for you guys, so I hope you appreciate it. And, and to all the new subscribers, it's going to be awesome. Thank you so much for subscribing to Sean the Magic the Gathering guy. Hopefully word will spread, because now we got 19. We'll get to the 20. <gasps> 21 could happen. It could happen. It'd be amazing. Uh, you can also find me on Patreon. And I don't have any patrons. Nobody pays me to do this. It's sad. It's okay. I'm not expecting you guys to pay to do it. But I put out a Patreon account in case later on it comes to that. I have some good stuff that will go up there. If you ever want to take a look at my page, you'll see if you ever become one of the high spending guys and you have too much money in your hands. I, I do some pretty interesting stuff with some of my old packs. Uh, I get them out to you. Anyway. Uh, this is Sean the Magic the Gathering Guide. Please take a look at all the War of the Spark uh, Mythic spoilers that came out today. I uh, hope you guys enjoy them as much as I did. I definitely would take a look at the Teferi combo um, as well as that card that unsummons. It's, it's not even a, I think it's just a rare. These cards are just rare. By the way, uh, pre buying Teferi at 30 bucks is ridiculous. Do not do it. Um, I don't think he's going to be that high, and he's a rare, not a mythic. So after people get their initial four, you buy them after, guys. Unless you happen to open one in a box, you can trade for one. That's fine. Um, but keep in mind that these things always come out and they jack the prices up. Do not fall for that early buying. I usually buy, unless I'm doing like a deck for fun, I usually buy six months later to a year later buying the cards I want. I don't really play standard. I kind of play kitchen, as you guys know. So unless you have to have it for standard, um, don't, don't do it. And if you see cards I open when I do my box opening, um, let me know. Send me like a message thing here on the thing. And I'll see what I can do for you if there's cards you want from what I open. Because I probably am not going to do anything with them. I'll be honest. I, I really don't. Um, so so we can probably work something out to help you guys out. Okay. Um, this is Sean the Magic the Gathering guy. Thanks again, guys. Uh, sorry, I see I went off on a tangent. I was going to say thank you for supporting me and subscribers. But I kept going. And this is a really long video today. But I'm, I'm in a good mood. It's good to know the card's fully real. I got some great stuff in the mail. More Mox Ambers came. And that makes me happy. And, and I'm cooking dinner for my family, so that's awesome too. So have a wonderful uh, week, guys. I'll tune in tomorrow to see what other Mythic Explorers came up. And by the weekend on Saturday night or Sunday morning, I will have done some of my playtesting I wanted to do and let you know um, how things went. Oh, and, and a last minute note, by the way. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I know, I know. When did things like Twiddle become like $80 cards in Alpha? That's just a question I have out there. It's a comment. I know it's still rare to find, but when did that become a thing? When did Wall of Swords be like $70, $80? I don't know. I think I got these for $0.50 cents downtown. So that's just a question for you guys. I don't know what's going on with that, but it's kind of funny to know. Anyway, Sean the Magic the Other Guy. Have a great day. See you guys tomorrow. Cheers. Enjoy. And I'm pressing the button in three, two, one.